hello everyone in this tutorial we will be learning how to take input from the console in the previous tutorial we saw how to we saw how to give output on the terminal but in this we will be seeing how to take the input so let's begin i have created a file beforehand so we will see that okay so this is our code basically okay it is very similar to the previous code this section dot data is almost identical only we have changed the message inside it so we have a custom message over here please insert your message so what is the aim of this code this code accepts a message from you and shows the same message on the console so that's it this is very simple code okay so what it is so we have given this custom message and again 0 10 13 as you all know what it is we have calculated length of this message and here this section dot bss comes in play so what we have we have an in message and in message length okay so what we have we have a in message and we have reserved byte 255 so the maximum size of the input which we can give can be 255 and we have reserved a one byte for calculating the length of this message which we are input giving us inputs okay so this is what it will reserve bytes resb now over here section dot text so what it actually does section dot text we have global underscore start over here underscore start over here we have move for that means it is a printing job whatever is follow whatever follows this so what actually we are printing we are printing the out message and out what is the out message as you can see it is the message which we have already saved so so this will print enter your message and after this this is the main part this is the major difference in this code from all the other code so this is the where the new logic lies okay so please pay attention to this part of the code so what we are telling move eax comma 3 so as when we used to say eax comma 4 it meant print so when we meant eax comma 3 it means scan so it would be scanning the input from the console so this means sc scan take input so and ebx comma 2 so again over here ebx specifies from where to take the input so ebs ebx tells 2 over here 2 stands for input standard input device so standard input device on any any system is the keyboard so it means scan or take input from the keyboard and store the value to the in message okay and the maximum size of that can be 255 and the system call int x80 int x80 h okay so what it is what we are doing is what is this what this whole code means in simple english i will tell you scan the message given from keyboard and store it in the address given pointed by ecx and the message can have a maximum length of edx which is 255 so this is what basically it will do so after this you will type your message and the message would be stored in in message okay so now let's see what over this is happening so this is a very important step don't get confused with this so we have move square brackets inside that we have in length comma ex okay so i will tell you something okay so what if we would write like this in length comma ex okay there's a subtle difference between these two codes and anything written after semicolon is a comment okay so in this ex and when you say move in length so in length specifies the address okay the address of that variable so when you will say move inland comma eax the address of the inland will be tried to change but that cannot happen so it might give you an error so that is should not be done but in reality what we are doing we are storing the value of eax inside inland so we have given this square braces so it means value at inland move eax to the value at inland so the value which is at inland will be changed to eax okay so this is the aim of this code okay i th i think you get the difference so this specifies the address so when and when the address is inside the braces it specifies the value at okay and again now the same thing we have four that is the printing job on the standard display the address is in message and the length is in length okay again over here why we have specified over here in square braces and this length is not in the square braces as i've already told you when you use the equate it makes the variable as a constant so when you move edx comma out length the actual size of the length is copied but in this case this in length is not a constant it is a variable so we have to specify this square bra square braces so that the value of in length will be copied to edx as you know print the message to the standard display 
for the address stored in ECX and the length in EDX. So to copy the length, we are using this. Okay, and we are giving the system call ATH, and again we have a exit status. So that's how it works. I hope you get the thing. So we will compile this code and we will see how it works. NASM minus F ELF64 ASM. We don't have any error. Now we will load the code. And O dot slash basic I. Okay. Please enter your message. I will type hi. Are you are you loving NASM? So it will print the same message to us. And as you can see, it has given a new line also to us. Hi, are you loving NASM? And this works fine. So thanks for viewing this tutorial. I hope you loved it.